How you going everyone? Welcome to my critical analysis of stress. Here we have an incredibly stressful situation where a young fella has paid for confectionery and the dickhead vending machine refuses to dispense it. It's horrible because not only are you hungry, you've also just lost money. So the stress has compounded. Come on you piece of shit. Yes, relief. No, this is the thing with stress. You think you've managed it, you've solved the cause, and then it bloody returns. Destination famished. Intrusive side thought, when I think of stress, I think of the actor Ben Mendelsohn, because he once played the character Anxiety. I am the tightening of your chest. You could say stress and anxiety are two sides of the same coin. Here we have Red Bull athlete Boris Orovec. He's doing the old swim under a frozen lake trick. Do not try this at home or in public or anywhere. Come on, Boris, you got this. Easy peasy. It's just cold water. Why are you turning right? Stop turning right. Fuck me upside down. He's getting discombobulated or disorientated. I don't know which word is more accurate because I'm stressing out. His mate is yelling, the exit is right there. I mean, in front of you, not to the right. Don't turn right again. The bald guy goes ass over tits. Actually, I think Boris is the only one not stressed. He's like, guys, fucking chill. Here's a lifeline I prepared earlier. I'm not a dodgy amateur. I'm a pro. I value existence on Earth. It's the best planet I've ever been to. Yeah, nah, yeah, he's good. I'm not, but he is. Whew. His coach in short shorts says, that was a bit of a close one, buzzer. Bit of a close one. I am the obsessive and I'm the compulsive. Parenting is something that keeps you on your toes, to say the least. Here's a mum packing away her garden tools. She's like, that's enough work outside. Her child has got to get hit with a ladder. You will never logically figure out why these tiny creatures do the things they do. Heights. I have skydived once before, but as I become an old prick, I'm getting less and less keen on heights. Parachutes feel like a dodgy invention. Yeah, look fucked. Fucked. Look at it spinning out of control. All those ropes and fabric mixed with wind. I have trust issues with parachutes. A lot of trust issues. Okay, settle down. He's good. He's good. He's got it under control. Now we can all sit back and enjoy the view. Stress gone. I'm the voice. You know the one. It's always questioning, questioning, questioning everything you do, everything you think. Driving trucks on icy roads. I can't imagine from the safety of my desk how nerve-wracking that could be. For many people, maintaining a sense of control keeps them calm, de-stressed. This video depicts a loss of control in real time. Other animals understand stress too. The doggo back there was having a nice nap. Now it's like a little on edge. I wonder if I should jump out or... You reckon you can sort this out, Tim? Oh, oh yeah, no, I think you got it now. Let's maintain this speed for the whole journey. No fancy driving going forward, please. Overall, sometimes stress is something you can see coming from a mile away, like a charging reindeer, but you only acknowledge it at the last second. Then before you know it, you're stuck on a wobbly broken tree with a chainsaw swinging around you. Maybe it will cut your limbs off, maybe it won't, but you'll figure out how to manage it from the top of the broken tree eventually. That's fucking life.